Um, good morning, everyone. I just felt I should still come out and uh, say one or two things. Uh, like as I always say, Grant community is very deep. And I, uh, Ostas Dawood came out this morning was like trying to make some voice notes, trying to maybe, will I say, making us to calm down. I want to say this. Some people came up, they were tackling um, Ostas Dawood, they were throwing insults on Ostas, uh, Ostas Dawood. But the truth of the matter is this in grand community i will use this word from a to z there is nobody who has not defaulted that is number one there is nobody who don't have but that is number two the bible said something it said if the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do that today we see men of god lying we see men of god betraying men their own fellow men of god we see men of god thinking because they have arrived in ministry trying to use the little the the young young upcoming pastors to see on how to gain cheap popularity for their own detriment all i want to say is there is god yes most people they have come out to apologize i will measure but some few names people like ocg people like adminelis even the all, all grand pressure group they've come out to Agochonu, they've come out they've uh, apologized to we the masses but the fact still remains that what I've spoiled, I've spoiled. And until there is peace within or among these people, things will continue to spoil. Because whatever that has spoiled, it is as a result of whatever thing they have come to tell us in the past. And now their eyes is open and they've seen the truth and yet they keep on tackling themselves instead of them to see on how to create peace so that things will come out if all grand pressure group is fighting for one side uaag is fighting for another side and these two parties they are pointing and at the same goal towards the same direction how will this mandate what we are expecting how will it get to us because uaag can be a winch to all grand pressure group all grand pressure group can also be a winch to uaag now uaag there are people who are who, who were with all grand pressure group that are for uh uaag now why there are people who are with uaag that are for all grand pressure group now nobody is a fool the truth of the matter is this i think it is high time you people go back to your drawing board to see on how to make peace because i will categorically say this i think what is really happening is greed and conversiousness and these things are coming from people who call themselves ministers of God. People who stand on the altar to preach. People who stand to be shouting repent. The Bible said, take off the little forces that spoils divine. We are now in an era where nobody fear God. We are now in an era where nobody thinks about God. We are now in an era where nobody thinks about judgment. But the Bible said it is appointed unto man once to die. After that come judgment. I cannot bear anybody's cross. Nobody can bear my cross. Every man will definitely face 
is or our own judgment on that very day so many people they have gone quiet because why they have cashed out why we the masses we are dying so many people they have collected whatever they want to collect from the masses they have invest and today they are living life why the masses who brought out this money who had to take risk from their different destination to abuja all in the name of verification that after verification there will be disbursement within a twinkle of an eye right from Tiobat to today and yet we the masses it is time for we to sit back and rise up to our challenge because this is a challenge number one is a challenge to our life number two is a challenge to the christendom the body of christ enough is enough enough is enough please we should we should sit back and take ourselves to be in the shoes of the masses if you were to be in in the shoes or in in the ma masses shoes what will you do people have cast out to see or not to settle their families and forgotten that the, the 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 masses they had to like sell their property sell so many things to make sure they subscribe just because of the promises that came out from even the people that that we trusted the people that we believed in and at the end of the day reverse is the case i don't want to lay cause on anybody the only thing i will say judgment is real judgment is real a time will come when the lord will arise for the sake of the masses and the time is very 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 close we should stop coming out to say this to be giving fake promises fake hope fake this fake that the truth of the matter is this let us see on how this disbursement can come on let us see on how this disbursement can take place because people are dying the rich are getting richer the poor are getting poorer please i will say this uaag agpgn please we should not be a witch to our life or to ourselves let us see on how to make peace the bible say follow peace with all men but i always say this after the peace you eat with them with long spoon that is wisdom follow peace with all men but still eat with them with long spoon that is what i always tell people so i want to plead on behalf of the masses that we should please agpgn and uaag please let us see on how peace can reign so that disbursement can take place even god himself is even angry because pastors left their auditorium left their flocks and start running after mammon money it is wrong are we to depopulate the kingdom of god or to populate the kingdom of god but today reverse is the case we are not depopulating the kingdom of god and populate the kingdom of darkness which is wrong which is wrong let us go back to our altar let us go back to our first love let us go back and reconcile back with god god is not happy with most of us i'm not absent, uh, absenting my, myself because i'm also a pastor god is angry with most of us that called ourselves pastors that have flocks that we are preaching to god is angry with most of us that gives ourselves titles that go to bible school and buy whatever position reverend dr bishop apostle they are all titled it's never a ticket to the kingdom of god the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness every other thing shall be added please uh, this is an advice to to we pastors go back to your drawing board go and seek the face of god the bible said the heart of a king is in god's hand if today we are saying the government 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 who are the government we are the government and we are the one that put them there but the truth of the matter the reason why every now and then we are saying government 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 it is because why we are compromising and there is no peace there is no peace among grand community there is no peace in the body of christ there is no peace among pastors 
if there is no peace how do we want these people to deliver i always say this the government don't have what to give to me i have what to give to the government because i see myself someday lay hand on their head and be praying for them and be blessing them but the truth of the matter the so-called bishop apostles professor whatever they have sold our birthright to the government they have sold our right to the government just because of mammon because of money because of money god will arise very soon god will arise very soon and punish as many as those that are hiding under the umbrella of clergy god will arise very soon and wipe out the generation of those who are using his name to mock or to dupe the masses this is me i remember pastor daniel i remember pastor daniel please let this voice note go viral to apostle dr ken wakama even to Tiobat, to anywhere you know you have that contact let it go there and if they need my number let me know i will give it to them enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough we should do we we we, we should do according to what we are preaching as servants of god we should do according to what we are preaching not making the the world to mock at us that to the extent even we the the genuine pastor self cannot even come out to say they are pastors because tomorrow they will say all pastors are the same why can't we just come out and make christianity or let us spice up christianity again let us go back to that our first love let us return back to our altar let us run christianity without compromise enough is enough in grand community enough is enough in grand community the extortion at least is okay you, you understand let us do with what we have this is just the little advice i have for the grand community promise and faith even the bible says promise and faith is a sin promise today promise tomorrow this week next week tomorrow next tomorrow monday tuesday wednesday weekend month end is too much 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 and i see god using one person as a scapegoat very soon i see god using one person as a scapegoat very soon and the time is very close thank you i remain pastor daniel god bless you